Alright, so it's 7NB here, and I'm bringing you guys a Graves commentary. So pretty much, at in this game, I got about 400 attack damage, 25 minutes in game. So that's pretty much the only reason why I want to upload this. So as you can see, I'm playing Graves. They're going to let me mid mostly because, yeah, LeBlanc doesn't need mid. And if you read, or if you looked at the bottom left, you should... You would see that I said, I bet you don't have the balls to stack 5 Bloodthirsters. And guess who's going to stack 5 Bloodthirsters this game? I actually do end up getting like 3 Bloodthirsters and a pickaxe, but yeah. So after leashing blue for our jungler, apparently it resets and then he keeps used. We have this Ryze who auto attacks the minions. Note this. You should note that this Ryze is a noob. Anyways. So now, I'm pretty much like getting creeps, waiting until I get to like level 2 or 3, then I'll start harassing him. So it's not much special, just trying to farm as much as I can. So you can see I use the quick shot Q combo, and then pretty much he flashes, I flash, and I score first blast. So, yeah, maybe if you just auto attack the minions to where I could have chased you and did more damage, then maybe you would have lived, right? Who knows? So I come back, I get my Vamp Scepter and my boots. So I'm just gonna bully this Rise to- I'm just abusing my early game advantage. So again, using the Quick Shot or whatever, Quick Draw, Buckshot combo. Pretty much your Dash Q combo. Let's keep that that. It's insane amounts of damage. And even as like a gap closer, just so I can get in range to land some of my block shots. So pretty much Rise knows he has the hug, and as you can see, he has 15 CS, or 16, I have 27. Pretty much, I'm doubling his CS, so GG Rise. So I'm just waiting on level 6, well, maybe diving, let's see. So I do hit 6, I just ult him, dash him, and then yeah, just pretty much get out of there. So now I got my Zerker Greaves, and I got some potions on the way back. Just mainly because I want to keep my harassing up. So then they had a lane switch with Caitlyn, but Caitlyn's level 4, so she isn't going to do any good against the level 7 Graves, who's fed. In my opinion, I think Graves scales better than most of the AD carries, and I called that Mia, because when I saw Kaylin, I'm like, oh, Rise must be bottom, and then they said late call, I'm like, whatever. So, basically, um, yeah, so I think, um, Graves pretty much, um, can scales very well, better than most AD carries, because Ash, when she's fed, she isn't too, like as much of a hassle than his fed graves because he can burst you down mostly because he has all that AD scaling which gives you trouble what I mean like um, scales well I mean he pretty much snowballs well is what I mean so pretty much when you, you, you feed him early game his mid game is going to be more terrorizing than if he fed the ass, mostly because he has all the 80 skill. So here, like I didn't even expect I was going to be pro, but I am pro. So pretty much I go in here and land my buff shot. I thought I'd be exhausted this time, but I exhausted for the last. But yeah, I popped my flash, and you know, greedy Caitlyn will be greedy, and oh, buff shot? Oh, damn. Damn. I got the kill. You have slain so, an enemy. I'm pro status. See, so yeah, I come back with my Bloodthirster 15 minutes in game. While everyone else has like nothing. Which is quite plenty. So, basically, I want to maximize my farm and get as much 80 as possible. This whole game, I didn't expect this game to be like 25 minutes. Like 26 minutes. So the bottom rise is kind enough to give me a red buff, as you will see in a couple of seconds. So rise being the hard he is, he's gonna stand right there. 
I'm gonna buckshot and all. It's not overpowered, guys. You just got him a bloodthirster. 15 minutes of game. While you are barely making a captain. Cataclysm. Or a little second. Catalyst there. So, basically, I'm fed. Let's put it out that way. And the enemy team fails to realize that as I use my buckshot and take out one third of their HP. So, I don't even know what happened there. I will summon the next Matrix glitch. Quotes from Kiyotsu. Yeah, so Gangplank failed to go copy. He decided to roll mid while, like, top lane was still there. But yeah. Look at this person. So we get the team fight, and my ult is good. Kill Steel back to finish the rock. When you kill Steel, the whole team that's behind them also gets damage, so that's a good thing. So we couldn't catch it from that time, but you know. An ally has been Basically, I'm just farming. So right now it's like 18 minutes or something, and. Yeah, my Bloodthirster, my BF Sword, and like almost enough gold to get my second Bloodthirster. So I got red buff and got my second Bloodthirster. Only about 20 minutes in game. No big deal. We have about like 250 attack damage. So yeah, we're just like in the jungle. I don't even know why the team's following. So let's go. Let's just secure that kill. I don't know if you give me the kill, it'll be more hilarious when I get 480. Anyways, I just stole that Olaf's creep with my buckshot. And the Caitlyn just to, like underestimate. Like, can no one build armor? Like. You have someone who's built into his graves, you're keep killing that his buckshot and his alt is hitting too hard. Why won't you build armor? It's kind of a necessity now. Mostly because we're destroying everybody. So yeah. Yeah, again with the personal buckshot combo thing. I kind of got used to that combo. It's actually really enjoyable. As you can see, I'm 9 and 2, I can 72 creeps, 22 minutes in game, or 300 attack damage or something. That's insane. Can I nice say I'm pro? So here we have the open fight, and I start not getting kills. People start last hitting over me. They got me. They think they saw me. And I flash out, and they fail to chase me with the red. Pretty much with my like I don't know 50% life steal, I can like stay into team fights forever. Nah, yeah, table blow, no big deal. So I'm all life stealing this whole lap. Probably doesn't even have any life steal items. And Kaylin thinks she can kill me while I'm like life stealing all her damage. But the game can just slow her, so I can quick down. I didn't really want to end this game yet. Pretty much, I have almost um. So I have my third bloodthirster and a pickaxe, and it's 25 minutes in game. And well, I have 398, but I'm gonna get these two creeps and get up to 400. So that's what I do. And seriously, 400 attack damage, 25 minutes in game. Hilarious. I don't even have a fort pot on. Imagine Gangplank using his E on. That'd be quite hilarious. 450-ish maybe? Anyways, uh, my over cockiness of my huge cock and insane damage output kind of makes me a little cocky. So I end up dying eventually. But so yeah, as you see, I failed to get the kill. Please, before I last thing over me. But it's alright. Like, like, there's tons of minions. Every champion wants to get me. You see, I get exhausted. I don't think they're able to. I need to auto attack them, and that's just my buckshot and all. And then again, 
that was a hilarious game. And if you liked watching, thanks for watching, and rate, comment, Victory. subscribe.